The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Trade What You See with your host, Larry Pezzavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pezzavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I will say this, that even Billy Ray Valentine and Lewis Winthorpe the third would be shocked when they come in and see the swings that we have going on in the market. The Dow up over 600 points, the S&P up 65, and 155 higher in the uh, NASDAQ. Now, folks, uh, I, am, uh, I have a master's degree in business from Indiana, and uh, my, my master's was in statistics, but I... Um, I do know a little bit about economics because we used to have guest speakers come to the university all the time, and uh, Paul Samuelson and um, George Schultz, Secretary of the Treasurer, a whole bunch of other people. And uh, But anyway, uh, I'm going to just look at this technically because that's the only thing I really understand. Uh, the first chart that I posted in here is the cash index, and as you can see, we had this big gap down uh, on Monday, which... Uh, was known as the Black Monday crash or whatever they want to call it, and uh, you know you're and th this is where the swings that we're having are just uh, just phenomenal, folks. This is a this is a dream for a pattern recognition trader, but you know sometimes the dreams turn into nightmares. But I'm going to try to walk th through what I think is happening, whether it's right or not. I don't know. I will say this: the bottom that we made, and I'll show you where that bottom came in. Uh, you can see here on the cash S and P, it came in around the 1830 um, level that was the number I was looking around 1840 yesterday and I'll show you that on the uh, on the New York Stock Exchange index and I want to show you that also on the Nasdaq because those were bo both perfect numbers and uh, because I believe in the harmony of the universe and pattern recognition and uh, the numbers of sacred geometry these numbers are really really important so if we but bottom line what this means is if we go below the lows we made on Monday the next stop, write this down, is 1575. And after 1575, that's when we'll get a really strong rally. And uh, the, 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 then we'll have a rally probably uh, into early September, much like we did in 1987. And then the real big down move will start sometime in um, mid to late September, uh, maybe even as early as early October, and then look out. And um, that's going to be the one that hurts. China pulled uh, another uh, hat trick out of the bag last night after the close. They uh, dropped interest rates and reduced reserve requirements for the banks, which uh, basically says that you don't have to pay your bills this month because we're going to loan you some more money. I mean, this is a joke what's going on with this particular situation that we have uh, in the world with this uh, funny money that's out there. And uh, when that starts to come home to roost, folks, it's going to be very difficult because, see, we're in an area where we've never done this before. We've never had quantitative diseasing or, or quantitative easing. That's, uh, this, is, this is the problem. I mean, everybody thinks it's a great thing. But, in fact, you know, people like me have been saying this for about four years. And, you know, we've been, you know, banging our heads against the wall and looking pretty stupid. But, uh, well, I don't have to do that very easily. I just have to look in the mirror. Anyway, the main thing is is that this is this is uh, going to be really different this time we're starting to see some uh, really uh, wild swings and this is just the beginning folks the s&p is moving 10 20 points around now like it's uh, it like it's nothing i happen to be um not sleeping much these days because the moves are so great you, you want to be here you know to try to capitalize on them because they certainly hit the numbers that we look at pretty nicely but um you know last night when the when china dropped the rates i mean the s p uh rallied uh, 25 points just straight up and came right back down to, to where it was and uh so it was telling you that there's some interesting things happening now i want to walk through a couple of these charts to show you what i think is happening the first one we looked at was the cash s p now we're going to look at the dow jones uh, this is the dow jones e-mini and i just wanted to give you a, a indication of where we are here so we can see it and you'll be able to take a look at it here give me one second and we move that over here and we click that on over there and you'll see uh, where the gap occurred on Monday, 
uh, the market was actually a little bit lower, then it rallied, and then it had the big 1,000-point drop, went all the way up, and then pulled back down to a 61% retracement. And then last night, during the uh, Chinese market, it made an ABCD pattern where we took out the highs of Monday by one tick. That came in at 1630.41. The old one was 1630.40. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I was seeing it. Uh, but anyway, that's that's what happened uh, at that time. That doesn't mean we're not going to go above that today. I mean, we certainly could. But that also was an exact 382 retracement of the high that we made uh, just a few weeks ago. So that could be a very interesting point, especially if we go down and either today, tomorrow, or the next day uh, go below those lows uh, on Friday. Now, if we close very badly this week, just like we did last week, uh, either below those lows or near those lows at 15,200 uh, in the Dow Jones, then we're then we're going to be ready to make that second leg down, which would be uh, you know quite a bit uh, lower. We did take out the lows. You know, it's an amazing statistic, folks. But uh, everybody that's bought stocks over the last year and a half is now underwater. I mean, that's hard to believe that that's what's happening, but indeed that is uh, that indeed is what uh, what is going on. But that doesn't give up easily and uh, you know we're still rallying this morning uh, giving a big boost to everything like it usually does but the next one we want to take a look at now is the uh, NASDAQ because that's the one that uh, while we were talking yesterday on the show because it was right at the open um, we had made a uh, perfect uh, 786 retracement to the exact penny uh, and that was on the uh, NASDAQ and I'll put this up here now and um, what we did is the same thing in the NASDAQ. If you'll notice that the high on Monday, that came in at 41.96 and a quarter. And the high last night with the Chinese market moving was 41.96 and a quarter, the exact same high. That was also the 382 retracement of the high that we made from back in, um, uh, back on uh, July uh, the 27th. So uh, that's a real key number. Now, if we get above that, that means that we're probably going to go higher. Now, that means the Dow is going to be, have to be up about, oh, looks like about 700 today, which is certainly possible given the swings that we're having. Uh, we'd be up uh, over uh, 200 in the NASDAQ, and we would be up over... Um, it would be up about 80, 90, or maybe even 100 points uh, in the S&P. So all of that is certainly possible. But we also have to realize that there's a possibility that what is happening here is that this is a uh, this is the rally that we're looking at, and uh, this is might this might be all we get. We we don't know that yet, but we want to be at least prepared for that. That's the that's the key thing you know, to really be watching, uh, in my opinion. Folks, this thing is so bearish that it just uh, it defies imagination. All you have to do is to look at some stocks that have been, uh, you know, extremely strong here. Uh, you know, Disney and some of the others. I mean, they, they have, they've broken down. And, uh, you know, th it, takes a, it takes a lot of selling, which we had. We had a monster volume. Uh, on the, mar the market as we should have had uh, and the breadth of the market of course was uh, you know just slightly uh, worse than disastrous and we'll take a quick look at that here uh, to, to, to reiterate the same thing um, uh, that we see each time because I watch that each day because I'm looking for you know possibility that maybe this is a great buying opportunity and we certainly are not seeing that uh, you know as of yet that's the the main thing that uh, that we're that we're watching so we're still heading down, in, in my opinion. Uh, we're having this big rally that uh, started uh, yesterday, of course, you know, being down um, 1,100 points at one time, then coming back to being down only about 70 points, and then going all the way back down again. You dropped another uh, 600 points down to make a 61% retracement in the move yesterday, and then it rallied back and went back and matched the highs of Monday where the market uh, gapped down from so um, we live in interesting times which happens to be you know a Chinese curse but uh, this is uh, it's quite interesting of, of what we're looking at uh, right here now the next one we want to look at I think is the most important of all 
and that is the New York Stock Exchange Index. And this was another reasoning why we were most probably making a bottom yesterday. Um, this was right when we were on the air. Uh, at that time, the New York Stock Exchange Index went down and made a perfect to the exact tick, boys and girls, at 9,512.58 of the low from October. It was exactly 1.27 of the low in October to the high in actually on May the 19th, which was Mercury retrograde with the new moon. That was a 1.27 expansion uh, to the downside. Now, the market has been closed all night, so it hasn't had the chance, you know, to have the up and down moves like we've had uh, in the futures markets. And so when it opens this morning, it's going to open sharply higher. One of the things we want to watch is to see that if it could get into the highs that it made uh, on Monday, that will be a really key area. Because if we just get to that area, and that area is 10,000. And uh, 75, if we get there, uh, that's up about 300. It was hard to believe you're seeing these numbers. Uh, that's up about uh, 3%, which you can certainly do that. So if we get above that, that will tell us that, uh, you know, maybe this market was a great buy, you know, down here, uh, you know, yesterday. But, you know, history's going to have to prove that to me because, boy, they've really did some damage to some of these things, uh, you know, on a technical basis. And, um, the thing that the question someone's just asked me is, you know, what does China, you know, how does this affect China? Well, basically, they dropped interest rates and they lowered re reserve requirements so that people can borrow money easily. And that's what got them into trouble in the first place. And all they're doing is doing the same uh, the same thing uh, the, the same way. So we made a major bottom here because of the number in the NASDAQ, because of the number in the S&P, and because of the number of the New York Stock Exchange Index. The question is, how much are we going to rally? Are we going to rally three days, two days, five days, or 10 days? We won't know that uh, till probably the end of the day, because if we're really strong today, um, you know, we're going to have to be up 1,000 in the Dow or more, which we can certainly be. If we can up, be up 600 already, we could easily go uh, up a thousand or even more. That will tell us that the maybe maybe a major bottom is in here, and uh, what I'm looking at is certainly not correct. And uh, then we'll have to uh, you know go to strategy two. But there's going to be a lot of resistance, uh, six percent higher uh, in the uh, in the stock market, taking that NAS uh, the New York Stock Exchange index up to that 10,400 area. You know we left three gaps on the way down. We left a gap last Thursday. Thursday, we left a gap Friday, we left a gap Monday. Uh, those usually mean that uh, things are pretty bad, but sometimes if they're exhaustion gaps, you know, they can go, you know, a great deal, a great deal higher. So those are the some of the things that we're keeping an eye on. Now, uh, John Logan mentioned that there's a lot of resistance at 1950 uh, in the S&P uh, 500. I have to agree with that 100% because uh, that's the old high that we made the other day. So you want to watch that level of 1950 in the S&P 500. That's going to be a real interesting one to watch. And uh, we'll look at that as soon as we get back after the break. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, folks. Now, the next chart that we're going to take a look at here is the uh, E mini SP 500. That's the, you know, the big daddy rabbit, the canary in the coal mine that everybody trades. Uh, and if you'll notice here, you know, we had that big move down, um, went down to the 1831 was the low uh, yesterday, uh, rallied up uh, well over uh, 130 points up to uh, 1955, and then it dropped uh, 100 points down to uh, 19, uh, 1855, which was right near a 61% retracement. Then it rallied up 65 points, back down to another 61% retracement. And then it made an ABCD pattern again last night, taking us up to the uh, 18. 1949 level and we're trading just a few points uh, under that as we come into the opening today now most of the times when we open really sharply higher which we're going to open you know 65 higher in the s p 600 higher in the dow uh you know there's going to be some people saying you know wow maybe i can get out of some of the stuff i got stuck in monday but you know that, that could be the situation that maybe it's going to turn around what i had hoped for yesterday did actually occur i was hoping that there would be some f folks come on and say, hey, don't worry about this. This was nothing more than a great buying opportunity. And uh, we had three or four of those come on the tube yesterday on Bloomberg and uh, CNBC telling us that uh, the world was still safe. Uh, primarily, you know, Laszlo Barini was on and there was another gentleman, uh, Jeremy Siegel from uh, uh, Wharton School of Business in Philadelphia. And then uh, also we had uh, one other guy from 
from uh, can't remember the firm. However, there was one uh, Mark. Uh, Faber from um, the Doom and Gloom Report said this was really quite serious, what was going on. Now, take a look at this E-mini chart because I'm, I'm just technical stuff, folks. I don't know uh, about the fundamentals of these things or not, but if you'll just look at the technical part of this, you'll notice that if we go up and complete this ABCD pattern at the 61% retracement, that'll be up at 1996. That means the Dow would be up another uh, 50 points, so it would be, or the S&P would be up 115 uh, points on uh, on the uh, the day if we get up there and we can certainly do that but uh, the gap occurred at the 50 percent level so the 50 percent level back comes in at uh, 1966 and uh, that's the other le the level to look at so the levels to look at and from my uh, point of view a uh, first one is of course 1950 that was the high from the rally yesterday the rally last night and then 1966 which is the 50 percent retracement and if it goes above 1998 which is the 61 percent retracement of the move down from august that's not the move down from the high the move down from the high is uh, substantially uh is substantially lower than that so we have to uh to really uh, you know keep an eye on these numbers you know to start out what we're looking for so that's the the key so give me one second here and i wanted to uh show you where we are as far as retracement back in the uh, e-mini last night let me just a second here we'll move this over just a bit and this is another reason why i want to spend a little time with this tonight if you'll like this is the daily now of the e-mini s p we went down to that 1831 and then we rallied yesterday twice to 1949 and a half and that that was the 382 retracement was 1948 so you see the importance of that and on this chart you can also see, see the importance of the 1966 level also so that's another reason why we need to uh need to look at this because we could get right back into that gap area and then the world would say oh everything is okay but things are not okay um you know you look at the, the emerging markets and you look at what's happening in shanghai with all the things you look at commodity markets we're getting a little bit of a bounce in some of this stuff but uh, that's basically uh you know all it is uh, from from our point of view here so um keep an eye on that and uh we will uh you know see how it you know washes out here but uh something really dramatic happened and you know it was supposed to happen and this is just the beginning of it folks uh we've made a major top here uh in the market this advanced decline line and all this breadth that we have is really uh quite negative and now a lot of these people uh, are underwater I, I will mention that today is going to be a really important close because uh, if we close really strong then that bottom is certainly etched in stone and uh, you can stay long as long as we don't take out that bottom that we made Monday because that was a, a perfect number in the New York Stock Exchange Index to the exact tick it was a perfect number in the Nasdaq so uh, watch that now on the second part of this is that if we go below those lows we made Monday what we've just seen that move from 2125 to 1833 that 300 points is going to be duplicated again and we're going to go down another 300 points to 1555 that's my opinion so let's just see how we open here in a few minutes and uh, trading gods upon us In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom 
optimization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look now uh, at the money market, and uh, we're going to start with the Treasury bonds here, uh, excuse me, Treasury notes. Uh, we covered this yesterday. Um, the number on the bonds that would have been the breakout number was at uh, 163, and we hit 163.01 on a fast tick. Uh, and then the market has sold off five handles uh, since that time. If you'll notice the chart that I posted here for the Treasury notes, which is the largest of all the commodity things that we trade, uh, we went up to the nearly exact uh, 786 retracement uh, during the 1,000-point drop in the market yesterday, and now we've broken down quite a bit. Now, what's interesting about this chart is that it's formed a shooting star candle. And if you'll notice, I've marked three other shooting star candles on Treasury notes that have occurred over the past year or so. And you'll notice that each one of those was followed by, you know, a move to the downside. And this one is uh, one of the larger candles. So we would be expecting at least a four to five day 
you know, down move. Now, this is coming in the face of the uh, Chinese market, you know, dropping their interest rates. Now, we very hard for us to drop interest rates because everyone's looking for a uh, is looking for a uh, increase in rates. And if they were to drop rates here, the market would just absolutely melt down, in my opinion, because it would tell everybody that, boy, there's something really wrong out there. And, uh, you know, that's the, the bottom line. Now, the next one of the group that we need to watch, which is a very large market that most of you folks don't even know about it or even trade it, and that is the German Bund. That's equivalent to the 30-year bond uh, in Germany, and as you can see, we went up to that 61% retracement. Uh, we went uh, about $350 higher uh, on a contract basis um, uh, per, per contract, and as you can see, uh, we reversed all of last week's actions uh, in the uh, German Bund. In other words, interest rates over there have started to uh, to perk up uh, also so we want to keep um, keep this in mind that that's just part of the technical picture you know of what we're of what we're looking at here so that's the main thing of being able to watch it now we did uh, open sharply higher in stocks like we expected and now we've started to back off a bit whether that means very much or not I'm, I'm not quite sure but you want to watch the close uh, today either Tuesday Wednesday or excuse me try Wednesday Thursday or Friday because then we're going to have a uh, problem here. Okay, we've got a call from uh, someone in Big D, Dallas, Texas. John, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you, my friend? But I never knew it could get this good. How about you? Uh, I I had it this I had it this way a couple of times. The problem with 1987 was there was no liquidity, but at least uh, this time you've got uh, a lot of liquidity. But frankly, you're right. I have never seen it uh, any better. Uh, than it is right now in just about every market even uh, even the grains last night had some fabulous moves and yes, John I haven't slept more than three hours in the last couple of days <laughs> but I'm still pretty much wired but uh, it'll continue it's going to get even uh, it's even going to get better because we're just going to see swings that are just uh, unbelievable in these folks that are in these uh, hedge funds and you know um, mutual funds and stuff or you know they're going to have to adapt a little bit what can I do for you my friend uh, the, the Q ID, I, you nailed that sucker back when it was down around 30 or so, and I just didn't stay in it long enough to, to make a couple of bucks. But do you put the FIVS numbers on it now from the 3069 low to the 44 high, or is that not enough time? There's just, uh, it's certainly enough time, but the problem is, is that we, we have such great volatility here, you don't know, because the high that we made yesterday, if you re recall, uh, was at the 61% uh, retracement of the October high. Uh, so that's going to be resistance. If we get above 44 in the uh, QID, uh, it, it'll probably go to 65 or 70 would be my guess. Okay. So uh, that's what I'm looking at. That's why if you, you know, I know you, you belong to the service, but that's why I stayed, I stayed long that stuff all during the ups and downs because it had such a positive pattern when everybody was saying how negative it was. You know, it had three higher bottoms. You know, it had everything that you could ask for. And now the market's finally turned. And all we need now is a really bad close in the market uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And that could really be off to the races. And if And if I'm wrong... You know, we'll still be able to, you know, do pretty well in it. But I, I still believe that we've got a chance here, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, to close, you know, relatively poorly in stocks, and then uh, the next leg down is going to be uh, pretty bad. Would you scale into it at all right now, or would you wait till it gets up? No, I can't do that. I, I'm the, I'm the worst person for doing that in the whole world, John. You have to. <laughs> I had, I used to have a, a check on my, uh, on my uh, computer monitor, and I had it made out to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange for ten thousand dollars, <laughs> and it was, and I, I signed it and I put it right on my monitor. And the reason why I put it there is that every time I start start to buy strength or sell weakness, it's be better for me to send that check in directly to the Merck and save commission because I never made any money doing that. That's so I, I just don't buy strength and sell weakness. Um, I just don't do it. You know, I, I do better by not doing it so I don't want to affect myself, you know, too much that way. 
So if you were me, you would wait till it goes above 44. Sure. And you're, you're yeah, wait wait for the pattern. You know, it's hard to have the patience when there's a lot of action going on. But, you know, like last night, things were really crazy. And so I went over and looked at soybeans and wheat. And, God, we had some incredible patterns there. Uh, they were only on a half-hour chart. But, my gosh, they were absolutely beautiful. And uh, so that's what I was focusing on. So that's what I try to do anyway. Sure. That Fibonacci uh, that you do, buddy, is just absolutely fantastic. And all the God's best to you and your family, buddy. Thank you so very much for what you do. Yeah. Well, thank you for the kind words, John. And I'll have that check in the mail to you just as soon as I get finished <laughs> with the show today, okay? All right, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, take care, man. Okay. Good all right. Morning. Thank you. The home of Roger Staubach. Okay. Um, the uh, We finished the shooting stars with the... Um, with the Treasury notes, we talked about the uh, German Bund. Uh, now we need to talk about the um, U.S. dollar because we've had a uh, a pretty big move in uh, some of these things as far as um, uh, the euro and stuff like that. And I think that we have a uh, – if I can just find the euro, what did I do with it? Here we go. Give me one second here, boys and girls, and then we'll be, we'll be ready to go here. Um, we have some possibilities of a currency war going on in some of these things, but uh, really nothing really happened dramatically. Just give me a second to put this thing in here because I, I know it looked really, really fantastic yesterday, but you know you can't do everything on this darn show, which is really uh, difficult. But we're going to take a look here now at the euro because what happened yesterday in the euro was uh, we had a uh, ABCD form uh, up at that 117 level. That was a 382 from the high last May when we hit 139. Now, you know, Gartley said for whenever you have an ABCD pattern form, you should look to, uh, you know, look to get short that. And it would, believe me, the, there were so many, there were so many gorillas jumping in the jungle yesterday. It was hard to do everything. Honest to God, folks. I mean, it was really, uh, it, it was just, just really totally unbelievable what was going on because the stock's down 1,100. You know, bonds were up two and a half points. You know, I'm, I'm trying to sell notes and bonds. I'm covering short stock positions positions because we hit the you know the the 786 in the in the Nasdaq and I missed the darn euro I didn't get I uh, didn't get anything uh, done with it but I really believe that that's all we had yesterday was a um, beautiful uh, pattern that uh, completed and uh, last night if if we were watching this uh, just to show you uh, in fact it's completing right now if it's just doing exactly the same thing that it did before it's just made that same 382 now uh, on the uh, on the hourly chart so if we go much below the um, the 114 level uh, that tells us this this uh, 382 level that we hit at 117 is certainly in force because we've dropped we've dropped uh, 250 pips in, in just a matter of about uh, you know about 20 hours so this uh, we're having some really wild action everywhere you know as uh, as we as we all know so just just keep in mind that that's uh, you know the possibility of of what we're looking at i see the market has started to uh, give up we've already given up 20 s and p points and 40 s and 50 s and p points in the nasdaq and just be careful folks because if we go back below that low of monday it's going to be um, it's going to be really bad don't don't hurt yourself you know, uh, try to make a couple of bucks if you can, but uh, you know you just got to be really careful. Th this these patterns are so bearish, uh, and I've been doing technical analysis for a long time. I've looked at more charts than probably all you folks combined, probably maybe not, but because um, I, I work a, a lot, and uh, I've never seen charts this bearish. I mean, they really are uh, amazing. Even though you have, you know, like yesterday, uh, Facebook, you know, it, it opened it opened at 72, and rallied all the way up to 80. 80 something, uh, 85 or something like that. I mean, incredible swings. And the ITB. Let me just show you what happened with that uh, ITB, which is the um, the building. Um, uh, what do you call it? that building ETF? If you want to see something, see something really wild. Uh, we happen to be short this uh, for the service and uh, the. Uh, yeah, this is a this is an actual this is an actual uh, chart, folks. When you see this, you won't believe it, but uh, it is an actual chart. This thing uh, uh, made a top up at uh, 29, and it opened at 23 and change yesterday, and rallied all the way up to 28. It rallied five points. Um, and today, what we did is we uh, went up and opened 
uh, into the gap area, and now we're down uh, almost a point from there. This is this is why uh, you have to be really careful in these markets, folks, because this is uh, this is dangerous uh, dangerous territory uh, that we're dealing with here. Uh, John Logan made a really interesting point about 1900 uh, in the S and P. Um, Oh, no, it was 1920. 1920 was the point where his profile said that if we get below that, that's going to start to think that we are getting ready to uh, move, uh, you know, sharply to the downside. So kind of keep an eye on that. But uh, this market is, uh, you know, w when you would look at it, you know, you're still up, uh, what, 400 in the Dow? And... Uh, you know, and, and, the S and, and the NASDAQ is up over 100, the S&P is up 50-something. I mean, these are huge moves, but uh, this can change. And um, you, you don't want to get caught in a really bad downdraft uh, with this. If you're, if you're short, that's great. Just hang on there, sit on your hands, and, you know, wait to see if it's going to uh, come to fruition like uh, I, I think we're going to see. But we'll have to uh, give the market a little bit of chance to uh, you know, continue on with the uh, with the things that we're that we're watching, but we've got some real negative things, and the interest rate picture is really starting to get uh, almost as cloudy because of the fact that we've got these uh, spots where uh, China is lowering rates and the rest of the world needs to raise rates, and that's not a very good sign. I want to go over the bonds one more time because that was a real interesting one yesterday. Uh, when we were on the air, we had someone, you know, talking about that, and I wanted to, to talk about why we came up with that 6,300 area as being, you know, pretty strong resistance. And we'll put this uh, in here so we'll be able to see it. And you'll see that that uh, 6,300 layer area, uh, the 60, uh, 162.23 was the 786 on the dailies. We had an ABCD there. And as you can see here, we're down um, uh, four and a half handles uh, already uh, in the bonds. And that's that's a bigger drop than we had uh, during the early part of July, where we, we went from 161 down to, to 157. This this drop has happened even faster. So uh, this is the real problem, folks. This, this is not the stock market. It's the bond market. I know, I know you don't think that's what it is, but that's what the real problem happens to be. Uh, if we take a look at what the junk bond market is doing, and we probably should. Now, I don't trade junk bonds. I just, uh, in fact, I work for the junk bond uh, company, Drexel Burnham Lambert, but I never traded the darn things. But uh, you'll see here that uh, we had a, a big, uh, big washout move yesterday. Uh, and it, just give me one second here, and we'll put this up. We're close to a, uh, you know, possibly an ABCD move in this that might give us some uh, relief. But, uh, you know, we really had a, a reversal type move. And then today uh, the market is uh, opened a, a little bit higher. We'll have to wait and see, you know, what happens from that. Now I want to check. Uh, well, we have the opening now in the New York Stock Exchange Index. I wanted to see where we're going to open uh, to see how close we come into these levels here. And give me one second, and we'll see where we are. Because if this doesn't rally very much, we've got some real problems uh, going on uh, in the stock market, which I believe we do. But you know, who knows for sure? Certainly not me. All I'm saying is possibly. Okay. Yes, we're almost uh, here. We're almost at. Uh, ah, we're almost at yesterday's high. Uh, that's a, that's the important spot to look at. Let's uh, see. We we opened at seven uh, ninety seven and change. Frankly, the number of you know, I don't believe that that's the exact price because these stocks gap up, and what they do is they won't leave a gap on the index. What they do is they take the low of the previous day or the close of the previous day, and use that as part of the of the system of uh, you know reporting it. When, when in fact there was no no trading there, so uh, we're looking at this uh, low here and into this gap area to see if this is going uh, to be uh, to be the case. Boy, the time sure goes fast. Oh, we got a, a call from another call from Texas. This must be our uh, Texas day. Rocco, are you there? Hello, Larry. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What can I do for you? Oh, stay what? with us if we go on the break, okay? Okay, oh, I want to ask about stay the super full moon this at the end of the week. Okay, you stay with me and we'll be right back with you.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Rocco in Texas. And, Rocco, you have a question about the super full moon coming in here on the 29th of August. Well, looks like so, we might have lost him, but are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, perfectly. Are there any other astro events uh, occurring over the weekend? Um, no, but there is uh, a couple of things that are related to harmonic uh, timing stuff. In other words, ratios from previous swings that we look at that will be important. But uh, that'll be on the 29th. We're going to have the moon is going to be at perigee. In other words, it's as close to the Earth as it possibly gets. And then when it spins around and goes to make the um, new moon, it becomes apogee when it's the farthest away. Now, Pythagoras knew this, you know, back in 600 B.C., 
he actually wrote papers about the the activities of the moon it was really amazing how smart the guy was he knew the distance was a quarter of a million miles away and he understood the distances between apogee and perigee which is really amazing considering we didn't know about it until you know the 16th century but um, usually on a perigee there's not much act and uh, not much action geophysically but when we have apogee when the earth is pulling away from the moon uh, that's when we have earthquakes uh, there's a high degree of probability higher degree of probability of earthquakes on apogee than there are at any other time so it's usually a window of a couple days on either side of it but there's something there because of the pull of the moon is very very strong as you as you can imagine but um, that's it and it affects the market you know we look at the full moons and new moons for for timing the market quite a bit so we got to keep that in mind but the super full moon has really a pretty good track record on oh yeah oh probability. yeah it sure does yeah it's not only this one but we got this one we have apogee where we have perigee super full moon we got the moon on the equator we got all kinds of things uh, lining up uh, for that time in august and there's a bradley date uh within three days of that that comes in on the 31st so it's going to be uh, a very very active time no matter I what would- I was kind of hoping, maybe I'm being presumptuous, but hoping that the market market would go up this whole week, and end of day <laughs> there Friday. There are a lot of people doing next that. Week. <laughs> there are a lot of people hoping for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in, buddy. Thank I appreciate you. it. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.